by Susan Peterson. Hands heal, hands teach, hands create, hands mend. The old man, he sat looking down at his hands, wrinkle and distorted, marked by exposure. Hands have a story, used to support his family, held a tennis racket, a golf club, picked up his child when they fell. He reminisces, years have slipped by, the end is near, only owned one set. He's made mistakes, he looks away. He blinks to remember the good times. He looks down again. He can't cut them off to erase those memories. They're an extension of him. A sign of the years, weathered with the memories that remain. He blinks. He blinks again to forget. I look down at my hands. Not too many wrinkles, maybe a sunspot or two. I love doing so many hobbies with my hands, defining me in more ways than what the world sees. I ponder. I think back over the years. When I'm old and wrinkly, what stories will I share? Would I have regrets? There are still more wrinkles to come, more wisdom, more love, and more stories of hope to encourage. With all the world talk about Black Lives Matters and the poster with the hand and everything I do, all my creative hobbies have my hands in them. Like I cook and I bake and I write poetry and I dance. So hands to me are really important. And then I've been thinking a lot about reflecting on my childhood and the struggles I had there and my relationship with my father and his hands were so prominent in my mind and so then I was trying to work out a way to express that in a poem without talking about the sad times and the bad times but in a way that was more reflective and positive positive. and because I have so many creative hobbies I know that a lot of them are God-given and because they come to me so naturally that I just wanted to share that love and knowledge and wisdom through the poem. I'm a real thinker and I have so many thoughts going in my head that for me it's a way to release those thoughts and those ideas. So it's an extension of me and a, a way to share something else with the world. I worked in an environment that was really negative and toxic. I was doing defect management. So people complain about a new apartment and I have to get stuff fixed. So for me, that just blocked all my creative thoughts because I was just consumed by that. So I'm really fortunate that Glenn has given me the space to just not work and just pursue my creative hobbies. And then that actually has made me more creative because I've got more time and more space to express myself. My experience of having the Holy Spirit in my life, which is my defining moment of being a Christian because I speak in tongues that discernment of the Holy Spirit gives me the gifts of the Holy Spirit which is love joy peace and without that in my life I don't think I can express myself to the fullest because otherwise all the negativity comes in